Good morning viewers, I'm Jasmine Fika Fatima Zahra from 41 English Headline News, bringing you the latest update for the day. The first news is about some Indonesian students return to school, and the second news is about the pandemic effect on education. Here are the details. School bells rang in part of Indonesia's capital for the first time in more than a year on Monday as schools shut by the coronavirus were allowed to begin reopening as cases declined. A total of 610 schools that passed standards set by the Jakarta Education Agency reopened their doors, so with many precautions still in place. In-person schooling will be blended with remote learning and gradually increased based on the government's evaluation of the situation. Elementary students will initially attend school three days a week, junior high students four days, and high school students five days a week, all with shortened class periods. Akila Malawa, a 12-year-old student, Going to class for the first time in more than a year at Sulu Junior High School said she felt nervous but she was so happy to see her friend again. School in several other cities all will also be open soon. Chatting in class is not allowed. Face masks must be worn at all times and no one can leave class for recess. School must slash class capacity for 50% by holding class in two shifts. The second headline. Currently, school in more than 50 countries remain fully closed, affecting over 870 million students globally, according to data by Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO. To ensure that students can continue their education during school closure, many countries move teaching online, but the arrangement could leave some students behind, especially those who have limited access to the internet. A problem that experts say could worsen income inequalities in the wrong run. Indonesia's education minister Nadim Anwar Makarim said there is an archipelagic Indonesia. The chance of making sure all students had access to remote learning was enormous. Distance learning will at least in short term has created negative impact on educational outcomes and qualities because it takes a long, long time for people to adapt to a new way of teaching and learning. The minister also explained Indonesia has reopened some schools in country poorest and the most marginalized region, where is the risk of COVID-19 spread in SS to be relatively low. Those schools are allowed to operate at operate at a uh, 50% capacity. Make sure for those kids that have a little access to internet, unreliable electricity, don't get them left behind. That's all for the news for today. Check this out at 41 English Headline News for the latest update. I'm Jasmine Fika Fatima Azahara. Thank you for watching and have a good day.